Hey guys, how's it doing? Thank you very much. Um, I'm really glad to talk here. And today we will talk a little bit about yeah, the integration, the interaction of oracles and real NFTs. I'm Dominic, and I'm the CEO of Acrea Network. And yeah, I will give you a little overview of what we are talking about today. Um, we heard in the previous talk that um, yeah, they're talking about oracles. I'm presenting our oracle. And in the next step, I will present uh, our new real NFT. But we will get to back, uh, that later. So we'll start with oracles. What is an oracle? Without oracles, the DeFi system couldn't exist. So I will explain what an oracle is. You have smart contracts in the blockchain on one side and the World Wide Web on the other side. And these two worlds are completely separated by each other. And there's no way to um, get a communication between the blockchain and the real world out of the box. So you need something to bridge these two worlds together. And this is where an oracle comes in place. So the smart contract requests data from an oracle, which requests data from uh, verified API providers from the World Wide Web, validates them, and writes it to the blockchain so the smart contract can interact with the data. So we have a Korea network. And our uh, Oracle solution is very special and unique because we don't have any middlemen. So the data provider is always the data owner. So you can be sure that the data you retrieve is always um, verified out of, the, uh, out of the box. So for example, if you want to um, request data from uh, the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is the Oracle provider. And you can be sure only the data is coming from NASDAQ, for example. So Oracles can do really cool things, such as um, providing data for uh, the supply chain, for example. Um, yeah, retrieving temperature data, um, the humidity, um, yeah, something like that to ensure the, the groceries are fresh when they come to the store. You can also um, yeah, provide data for dynamic NFTs, for example, a soccer card. Um, you can update the, the, the numbers on the, on the card, for example, the num uh, number of goals the player has achieved. But also, there's another way, and we created another small project. And this uh, is a Korean network, yeah, featured on CNBC, and also the German Innovation Award winner. We have an integrated reputation system. So users can stake various cryptocurrencies, uh, such as XRP, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and uh, Cardano, on certain Oracle nodes to give them trust and the credibility. We're a member of very huge alliances, such as uh, Interwork Alliances, um, FinTech Circle, uh, SFA, and all others. And this is our new project. So I talked before about real NFTs, why they are real. So we created NFTs that are real because they are powered um, with the help of an oracle. In this case, with our own Oracle, Acrea Oracle Powered Real NFTs. And these block ships uh, are generated in a two step process. So the first step is the user goes to our website, uh, blockships.io, and can mint their NFT. And the second step is um, that we use the Oracle to write this NFT to the blockchain. So this is the point where it's the main difference to other um, uh, NFTs, such as um, Bored Apes or CryptoPunks. So our NFT, NFT is stored directly on the blockchain. And there's no link to a, a JPEG uh, stored on a server. Because when you have um, some faults on uh, the server side, for example, the server goes down, the NFT is worthless because you can't access the NFT anymore. So this is what makes us so special and unique. Our NFT data is completely stored on the blockchain for eternity. And we have big supporters such as Lindsay Lowen. So yeah, maybe someone knows her. She's a great uh, actor, 
and yeah, entrepreneur, television personality, and she helps us a lot um, creating this project. She, um, yeah, we're talking with her a few days a week, and um, yeah, she helps us on the marketing side as well as her boyfriend. And uh, yeah, we really want to push this project forward because real NFTs are the future. As I said, you fetch the data hash from the blockchain, so our NFTs are generated from um, certain hashes on the blockchain, in the Ethereum blockchain, for example, the Genesis block, or block number 100, 200. And these hashes are fetched by our Oracle and will be stored on the blockchain for eternity. So these block chips are completely generated using these block hashes. So this is block chips and a career network. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me um, at the given addresses. Also, if you have questions now, you can ask them if you want. Perfect. Uh, Kevin from Castorium. So you spoke on the concept of real NFTs. And I, I anticipate that your answer is around the idea of the, 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 the tightly coupled relationship between any data uh, that is produced within the NFT and uh, as opposed to places where they decentralize host them. Can you um, explain uh, how your solution might, like, I'm trying to see how this is an oracle and not an NFT. Um, please could you explain how your solution would deal with, um, for instance, an NFT picture differently than, than uh, um, uh, an NFT picture hosted on OpenSea, for instance. So yeah, you have um, so the Oracle and the Blockship project are completely separated by each other. So they are only interacting um, using the Oracle nodes of the Oracle. And um, yeah, as I said, um, the main difference between uh, us and our solution and, for example, crypto uh, punks or uh, bored apes, is that yeah, the data is completely stored on the blockchain. So we write the whole image data to the blockchain and not only um, the reference to it. And therefore, um, yeah, you have the complete decentralized uh, NFT instead of an, a centralized NFT that is only stored on centralized servers and are linked to the blockchain. Yeah. Which blockchain? Which blockchain? Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Um, we are kind of really working on uh, EVM compatible blockchains, so it's on the um, Ethereum blockchain, and therefore we can use all EVM compatible blockchains, uh, Avalanche, or some all other blockchains as well. So this is currently stored on uh, Ethereum and uh, developed on Ethereum, but we can um, yeah, extend this solution on other blockchains as well. No, I think it's okay. Yeah, Brilliant. Perfect. Well, listen, big round of applause for Dominic. Really Thank appreciate that. Thank you very much, Dominic. Thank you. Awesome Thank you. job.